shot looked pretty good when she ran off. She didn't seem to really know what happened either. I think I got her. I think I just got my first, oh dear. God, I really hope so. It was a complete pass through, so that's good. I reviewed the shot. It seems a little further back than I was hoping, but I think it may be at least a double lung. I may have nicked some of the heart, but whew, I'm shaking. Can't tell if it's from cold or hopefully excitement. <laughs> I'm gonna give her about 20, 30 minutes and then I'm gonna go down and look and see what blood looks like. It's probably hard to see on this arrow and it's already looking dried. But it looks like dark red blood, which looks good. Uh, my zinger fletching, you can tell, fell off right here. So that was the impact site. And I've already seen some pretty good blood. I don't want to go track her too quickly though, so I'm still going to give her another 15, 20 minutes or so. All right, guys, <clears throat> so just to give you a quick update, I uh, came back to the barn, changed, uh, got a good flashlight, then went out and started tracking blood. Um, took me about an hour and a half, two hours to get 75 yards. Blood got really good there on the 60-yard mark, and then all of a sudden just completely stopped right around 75 yards. So I searched for another hour and a half, it's been about three and a half, four hours since I shot that deer. You know, my guess is she's dead. The good thing is it is going to be very cold tonight and tomorrow morning. So I'm, I'm going to go back out in the morning and I'm just going to see if I can track a little bit further and maybe grid search or something like that and try and find her. Uh, really don't want to lose my, my first deer here, but I'm going to do what I can to, to find her and harvest her and get the meat. So I'll keep you on the loop. All right, guys, it's the next morning. I started back at the track. Blood was impossible to follow at this point. I was talking to a dog tracker. He said she should be dead within 100 or so yards. So if I grid search, I'd probably be fine. So that's kind of what I started doing. I just followed the trails to see where I thought she may go. I'm pretty sure she wasn't gonna leave this little section of woods here. So I started in there. And started walking around and honestly was pretty close to giving up, but just kind of turned over to my left and saw the white belly and she was dead right here. So I'm pumped. Uh, I'm super excited. This is my first bow deer. Didn't go as well as I would like on the recovery, but, uh, you know, I'm just excited that I was able to, to recover her and recover all the meat. Doesn't look like anything got to her either. It's been 28, 29 degrees out here. So all the meat should be good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get her uh, taken care of and back to the barn, so that I can skin her up and and get all the meat from her. All right, so I just got some hits on my camera. There's a ton of hogs out of this feeder. So got my 308, and I'm uh, coming out here to see if they're still there. Pretty sure I got one of them. Um, I know the shot's gonna look weird, but I wanted to shoot through one to get to the other and see if I could take two down. Um, the first one I hit, I'm pretty sure I hit pretty much in the gut. Uh, but the one behind it, I think I got a good hit on, and then I took a second shot on him, and I think he dropped. Um, so I'm gonna go check it out and see if I got him down. This guy may be bigger than the one I shot the other weekend. On him. He's huge. All right, guys, I came back to the barn quickly because it's almost three o'clock and I want to get out and deer hunt because there's been a couple big bucks out uh, where I'm going. My wind's not going to be great out there. I'm going to put on quite a bit of deer scent uh, on my boots and stuff and hope that helps a little bit as well as it's being a little bit windy. So may have him come in, may not, but uh, I really wanted to weigh that hog. He was giant. Uh, Definitely bigger and heavier than 
the one I shot out here a couple weekends ago uh, that y'all just watched that video on. Um, so if I get a chance tomorrow morning, I may bring the tractor out there with my scale and try and get a weight on him because he's, he's pretty big. He's the biggest hog I've shot to date. So I'm going to go ahead and get changed and get ready for a deer hunt, head out to uh, Duck Pond and see if we can get a, a big buck on the ground. All right, guys. I just got down from my stand and ran back to Rusty. There's more hogs at that feeder that I just shot that, just, that other hog at. So I want to go kill another hog. So I jumped down, got my 308 still, and Rusty, let's go get some other hog. I don't know, it felt like a good shot. I didn't really take my time. It was probably uh, shaking from breathing so hard since I ran out here. But uh, I felt like I hit him. He didn't go down, but I wanna get back to the stand so I can still deer hunt. So I'm gonna get back in Rusty, go back to the stand. I'll check the footage um, tonight when I get back to the barn. And we'll see if uh, see if I think I hit him. And then uh, if I did, I'll come back out and find him because he was a little bit smaller and maybe worth eating. So I'll keep on the loop. Let's hope a deer shows up. All right, so I just parked Rusty, I'm walking the rest of the way to my stand. It's only 3:30, so I think I should be good. This stand's about three quarters of a mile away, probably, maybe half mile. But uh, that's the benefit of suppressor. I mean, I shot that hog an hour ago with a suppressor and they show up 45 minutes later. So, and honestly, my guess is I could still see deer tonight because that was pretty far away and I had a suppressor. So, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. That's why I will, uh, 100% promote always having a suppressor on your hunting firearm. So that buck just came in. It was a small eight point, probably year and a half to two year old deer. Um, I put out that doe and estrus, and he kept staring over here, kind of where I poured it out. And he could smell it, and he was stomping. So I'm wondering if, uh, if that's why he came in, because he didn't really care about corn or anything. He was on a mission, so. My guess is he could smell that doe and estrus and then realize nothing was here and kind of made him a little bit nervous and ended up wandering off. So uh, they're definitely up and moving.
All right, guys, I'm back at the barn. Had those two bucks come in. That one was pretty tall. Um, I've seen him on my camera before, and I thought he'd be a shooter, but seeing him in person, he didn't quite seem like I would uh, want to take him yet. I think he'd be a great buck in the next year or two. Not to mention, they didn't even make it in before uh, legal shooting light ended anyways, so wouldn't have even been able to take a shot or question whether I wanted to take him or not. I'm here editing the video and uh, I forgot that my phone uh, ran out of storage so it cut me off on my last video. I wasn't really able to do an exit interview for this weekend trip so I figured I'd talk through some of this but um, those deer came in after legal light. Uh, the bigger one there was about 30 yards and probably would have taken a shot if I had it during legal light but fortunately I didn't get to take a shot on, on one of those and really probably the end of my hunting season in Oklahoma. I did, you can see it here in the back, uh, take that hog head for the hog that I shot and uh, ended up doing a European mount by myself. Um, way more time consuming than I thought, but I didn't really want to pay the 200, 250 bucks to have somebody do it and I figured I'd try it out myself. Just didn't have the right tools. My power washer broke, so I'm sitting there trying to hand carve it, but I had a lot of fun out there. I got my first doe on the ground. I learned a lot. You know, I, I've got a couple more videos coming up. I've got another hunting trip out in Honda where my buddy shoots a, a real nice buck. So stay tuned for that. And then I went on a golf trip with my brother and some friends and figured maybe I'd try and video it and see how that went. So uh, haven't started putting in that footage together yet, but if it turns out like it looks like it'd be some decent footage, I'll post some videos uh, of our golf trip. So hope you all enjoyed this video and tune in next week.